If you're in need of a winter jacket, I've got you covered. I rounded up the seven best winter jackets for mild winters to Minnesota winters, and I'm gonna share them with you right now. If you're new, my name's Jen. I'm a mom of three living in Minnesota. I love fashion without the fuss. I love outfits that are cute, yet comfortable, that you can look good in and feel good in all day long. First up, I have this Amazon Essentials jacket. It comes with a packing bag that you can put it in if you wanna travel with it or whatever. I honestly just got rid of it right away. I've never used those, but if you're somebody who likes to travel a lot, they're really great to have on hand to just um, stuff the jacket right in the bag and you're on your way. There's no hood on this one. There are two pockets that have zippers to keep your essentials safe. It has a nice zipper to keep you nice and warm. This one comes in a bunch of different colors. It's really great for like a mild day. Um, if you live in somewhere that's warmer, like a Texas, this could be your winter jacket that you wear all year round. I love this one for traveling, especially because it bunches up nice and small, so you can just stuff it into tiny places. It doesn't take up a lot of space. I typically wear an extra small to a small. In jackets, I typically size up one so I can fit a bigger sweatshirt like this underneath it. So for me, this one, I sized up one and I really love the fit. Next up is this hooded pullover jacket. Again, it's for a more mild winter, not necessarily a cold Minnesota winter day. It's a pullover style, so you have to put it on over your head. Some things I like about this one is it has the lower back side to it, so it does cover your butt a little bit more. I will oftentimes wear this with leggings to my kids' soccer practice, and it keeps me cozy warm, covers up more of the booty if you need that or want that. There are two buttons on the sleeves. So you have two options for how tight you want the sleeves to be. If you're somebody who likes the sleeves nice and tight, you can put it on the closer one. If you want a little bit more loose, the second one is typically where I keep it. It has multiple buttons on the um, neckline area. Depending on how cold it is, I will oftentimes not do any snaps or just a few. There's two pockets, it's not a full kangaroo pocket, so it does not go all the way through. There's a hood on this one. It's a very big hood, so probably not something that you're gonna use all the time, but it is nice to have if it's raining or snowing or the weather just gets really brutal. This one's quilted. Again, it's not something that's incredibly warm. It's more for another like 30 to 50 degree weather day. It comes in a few different colors. I really have been loving this one a lot. If you are somebody who doesn't want the pullover style but likes that quilted style, this is a great option. This one has that split seam like the other one does, but it's not longer on the backside. However, it does lie longer than the other one does. So I like this one for wearing over bulky sweaters or like a sweatshirt like this. Also gives off major free people vibes at a fraction of the cost. This one doesn't have a hood, so you'll have no protection from the elements if it starts raining or snowing. There's two pockets on either side, no zippers or anything, so just keep that in mind. Again, this one is also for a more mild day, such as a 30 to 50 degree day. Um, not something that's gonna keep you incredibly warm on those really, really bitter cold days, but definitely a great jacket to have for fall and winter, or fall and spring if you live in a place like Minnesota, or all winter long if you live in a warmer weather climate. If you would like a little bit more elevated jacket, here is a wool coat that I recently got. Now I will say this one does fit a little bit big on me. It's a size small. I would have preferred a size extra small, but they don't have that in this size. Um, but this one is really nice for when I'm dressing up a little bit more, going to church or nicer events in the winter time when I don't wanna wear my big bulky winter jacket, but I would need something to keep me a little bit warmer. It has one button on the, um, in the middle right here. It has two really deep, nice pockets. And if I was to wear this on a really, really cold day, I would probably wrap a scarf around or wear a black cowl to keep me a little bit more protected. Um, but it's also just a really elevated, nice jacket to um, just feel more elegant in when you need a jacket in the winter time. Moving on to a jacket that's a little bit warmer for those more cold, not my favorite kind of days. This one is also an Amazon Essentials jacket, similar to the first blue one, um, but this one is great for colder weather, like 10 to 30 degrees. Um, it does keep you nice and warm. Here's some things I love. So it has the side buttons 
I usually keep at least one of them buttoned. It makes it just easier to walk in um, rather than being completely constricted. There's also the option to unzip it from the bottom. Frankly, I've never used this, but I do know people who love it, especially in the car if it's super overheated and they need to unzip from the bottom. It's just a nice additional feature to have. This one has a hood with the pull strings, like that. <laughs> it will keep you nice and toasty warm if you really find yourself in a position that you need to pull those. Never pulled them yet. Not saying that I won't ever. It has the really nice um, quilted look and feel to it. I love how it's more fitted so I'm not feeling like a giant marshmallow, but it will keep me nice and warm and this has been a really great winter jacket. I got it last year, it's washed well. I throw it in the dryer with some um, tennis balls. It's been great. This one I'm wearing a size small. It fits me pretty true to size and it is nice to be able to fit a sweatshirt or thicker sweater underneath it when I um, am really bundling up for the day. <laughs> it's not an Amazon jacket video unless I share some Orlay. And honestly, I love my Orlay jackets. I actually have two of them. The next one is also Orlay. This one is a bit shorter than the other one that I just shared, which is nice when I don't need something that, that's excessively long. What I like about this one is the fleece patches on it. I feel like the Amazon, the typical Amazon jacket that you see everywhere doesn't have this. This is newer. Um, it gives it a little bit more of like an elevated styled vibe to it. Um, the sleeves are tight. I'm wearing an extra small. I did not size up in this one because it's generally a larger jacket to begin with. The body in this one and also the next one are larger. So I didn't want to be swimming in it too much. So the, the sleeves are a little bit tight. If you are, um, if you have more muscular arms or bigger arms, or if you just also don't want it to be super tight, I would size up one of these to make sure that the arm gives you enough room to move around. There's like five million pockets on this thing. I rarely use any of these, but I do use these often. It also has the side zip. If you want it to be a little bit more fitted or if you want a little bit more room, you can open it up. This one does not have a fleece lined hood but there is a hood to it. This one comes in a couple different colors. If you love the Amazon coat but want something a little bit more different, this is a really great option to go for. And last, but certainly not least, is the Amazon coat. Now, I've owned this jacket for three years. I also got one for my daughter. My sister has it, my mom has it, my niece has it. My kid's preschool teacher has it. Everyone has this jacket. But let me tell you, my biggest question I get asked when I wear this is, is it warm enough for Minnesota winters? It, the high for tomorrow is negative four. It gets cold here and I don't mess around in the cold. I hate to be cold. It is one of my least favorite things and I will bundle up as much as I need to to stay warm. This jacket will keep you warm in very, very, very cold temperatures. One thing especially that I love is the fleece hood. I will put this on, especially at like the bus stop when it's extra cold because it's so early in the morning. I will be so toasty and warm. You will not be cold in this jacket. It has all of the pockets like the other one has. Again, I mostly just use the side pockets. It has the full zip as well. This one comes in so many different colors. You will not regret buying this jacket, especially if you're somebody who lives in a cold climate. It is so warm, it's so chic. I get compliments on it all the time. Even still, three years later, people still stop me and ask me where I got it. I hope this video was helpful and please give it a thumbs up if you liked the content. Be sure to follow along for more fun Amazon finds and fashion inspiration and I'll see you next week.